Um, I think in terms of uh, gold, uh, of course, the the you know the the import taxes have not been changed. So I don't expect a big change until that changes. I don't think there's going to be any real term impact on growth per se. Uh, in terms of oil, I mean, of course, uh, there is relatively low energy intensity, uh, so knock on impact will not be significant. But I do think that the amount of boost to growth, if any, from commodity prices alone could be about 0 0.2, to, uh, 30, 20 to 30 basis point on the headline. Uh, for, for us, we are already on the, uh, you know, on the firmer end of consensus. We do think that growth can go back to about, uh, to about 6 percent in fiscal 15 itself, uh, mainly because of restocking as, as well as new projects coming online, capacity that was stuck getting unstuck. Uh, and we do ex expect consumption also uh, to add to the growth momentum in the second half of the year. Uh, so given these, uh, I think from the commodity space alone, there's going to be a very minor boost. But other than that, I think uh, investments are going to be the bigger uh, support factor for growth this year and the next. Um, clearly, I think the recent disinflationary trend has drawn a wedge in the market. So there are some quarters saying that they, there is risk that um, the ra rates should be raised uh, in terms of bringing entrenched inflationary expectations down. On the other hand, there's some they're making a case that the rates should be cut, you know, because inflation is going to fall off much rapidly. Uh, we are in the camp thinking that the, the rate should not be moved at all in the sense uh, by keeping rates on hold de facto the central bank is maintaining a tight bias on the rates. Uh, that's the first factor, yes. And at the same time, uh, I think we've spoken a lot about inflation, but what the other aspect that one should watch out for is what's happening on the external front uh, in terms of risk aversion, in terms of need for financial stability, as uh, financial sector stability, as well as macro stability. So that's also very important for the central bank. So I think the RBI will be keeping an eye on that as well. Uh, of course, the US rate hike expectations uh, have faded recently because even as a house view, we don't think that the US is growing at a, a fast enough pace to justify an imminent rate hike. Uh, so the RBI needs to watch for if the rate hike expectations are built in back into the market. That's another reason for them to not lay, uh, lower rates as yet because there is bound to be volatility in the EM space. Uh, India will probably be hit by slower extent but will be hit nonetheless. Uh, so I don't think that we can disregard uh, inflation as a risk. I think we need to watch also on what's happening on the financial sector side. Uh, so both these, uh, the way things are going to develop, our uh, expectation is that the RBI will prefer to remain cautious uh, and keep rates on hold at uh, at least a repo at about 8%, at least uh, about three, four quarters hence.